Y'all know I be saying I got the best subs on YouTube. And do y'all know why? Because my subs be spitting that hot fire. Damn it, I said that hot fire. And we gonna get into it right after this. Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, so check it out. My guy, uh, that damn creature that says straight up. Here's my take, an unpopular opinion I have no doubt. Badges that, that have an area of effect or grant me an ability that I don't normally have should be removed from the game. If I want to be able to perform a, perform a move or a function, uh, perform a move or a function, I should have to learn to perform that, more, uh, that move or function and have the stick skills to be proficient at it uh, instead of relying on a badge to do it for me. End of story. Bro, I've been saying stuff like this since the beginning, dog. Like, the way that this game should go is this, and this is just my opinion. Badges should enhance your ability to do something. They should not grant you the ability to do something. It's been like this since NBA 2K, uh, since what? 2K17? Because in 16, badges just enhanced your ability. You could do things, but if you had the badges to do it, you just were a little bit better at it. Uh, what, lockdown perimeter defender, lockdown post defender, uh, lockdown, if you had a small forward, you could get both of them. All this stuff, man, like, look, badges just were helpers. They should be things that help you, give you some difficult shots. I don't even think difficult shots was a badge back then and stuff like that. These are the only badges I can think of right now. Uh, but like I said, in 2K16, uh, what, Sharpshooter? I don't even know they had Dead Eye. They had um, uh, uh, Limitless Range, stuff like that. Limitless Range may be one of the only badges that granted you the ability to do something. But you can hit stuff. You can hit from deep. But you just became more proficient at hitting from deep if you had uh, limited, uh, limitless range. It just made it a little bit easier. And it's just crazy because stuff like this, corner specialists when they had, I'm pretty sure corner specialist was a badge back then. I'm just doing stuff off the top of my head. I can't think of all the badges. But the point that I'm trying to make is, I completely agree with my guy, man. I feel like it's, it's, it's just insane. I should be able to block shots just like it with this game. If you don't got rim protector, they really don't let you block shots. If you don't got chase down artists, you really aren't able to block shots. There are so many badges in this game that give you access to an animation that you normally wouldn't have. And to me, it's just completely insane. I don't understand why that's a thing. Like, let's let's just, let's just be honest. Let's talk about it right quick. Can you, like, uh, the only thing that, that's in this game that you probably don't need a badge to unlock, really, or is not hidden behind a badge gate or something like that, is, um, is interceptor and pickpocket stuff like that because like like why can't i get up and down without pogo stick if i tap the button it should be just like this just like i said anyway if i tap the button right it should make me do a slight jump if i hold the button then it should make me do a big jump and if i got pogo stick it should just make me more proficient at both it should just take my you know i should be able to control the taps or something like that a little bit better it shouldn't be like you can't even jump over and over unless you got pogo stick. There are some people in the world that are quick jumpers, and there are some people in the world that we call, we say that they're quick second jumpers. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like, um, Kawhi is a quick second jumper. Probably the person with the, with the quickest second jump on the planet is probably, uh, is my guy, what's my guy, uh, Zion Williams. He probably has the quickest second jump on the planet. Like, stuff like this, it really does exist. So, why do we have to hide it behind a badge gate? Like LeBron don't have to have no badge in real life just to be able to just to, you know what I'm saying, just to be able to um to chase down shots and do stuff like that. LeBron does that naturally. I just don't understand why we hide these things behind the badge gate. Like I said, I should be able to chase down shots without chase down artists. It should just make me a little better at it if I have it. I should be able to chase uh pr protect the rim without rim protector. It should just make me a little better at it. It's just like my boy Ramp said in 2K14, uh, 15, when they first started this, if you didn't have your finishing badges, you couldn't even finish at the rim. I should be able to finish at the rim anyway. It should just make me a little bit more proficient at it. Contact finish. I shouldn't have to have contact finisher to finish with contact. It should just give me a little better chance of doing it. But there's so many things that are in this game. If you don't have it, it's just not going to let you, it's, it's just not going to allow you to do it at all. It's just like, go ahead and try it. Nah, what, what, handles for days? You don't got handles for days? 
you're not handling the ball for days. You can handle it. They should call it handle for minutes because that's what you're going to handle it for. Handle for seconds or something like that. Ankle breaker. You can't break ankles really without ankle breaker when in real life, if I hit you with a cross and you go that way and I'm going this way, that should break your ankle. You can't recover. Ankle breaks like these things, all these types of badges, they are they are a license to do these things. They're not an enhancement. Like, can you even break somebody's ankle in this game? I know you can, but can you even break ankles without having the grand badge and ankle breaker or and, and these other things on? Like, I just, I, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff in this game. Like I said, uh, Hot Zone Hunter, it damn near, they damn near give you the right to shoot. You almost can't even shoot the ball if you don't have your shooting badges and your hot spots and things like that. Like I said, these are things that should enhance our ability to do things. I'm just trying to think. I'm just going off the top of my head. Green Machine, why do I have to have a badge to help me green consistently? Why can I not green consistently under my own merit? I should be able to green consistently if I'm good enough. And then, if I get the badge, it should be lights out, lights out. Like it should, the badge should literally increase with my skill, not make it so that somebody that can't really shoot can now shoot greens over and over. I can shoot greens over and over. I don't even use green machine. But the point that I'm trying to make is that somebody that doesn't have that ability, it definitely grants them that ability, or you know, to some degree or what have you. So, like I said, man, I just don't get it. Why? Why? Like, I, I, bad. Don't get me wrong. Badges are good. I like badges. When I make my player, I make I make my player uh, according to what badges I have. But the fact that I can't box somebody out or rebound the ball reliably without having box on or without having rebound chaser on, it's damn. It's, it's just it's incredibly stupid. It's just like, look, you don't got. A lot of people say they don't use box. I know that's cool. Your rebounding may be higher than mine. I have like 85 rebounding. If you don't have box on and you have 85 rebounding and you're going against somebody with 95 rebounding, they damn near won't even let you get in position to box the person out. If you don't got rebound chases, you can forget about it. You're not getting the rebound. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, why do we have badges granting us abilities? I should be able to play like pick and popper. You almost can't even pick and pop if you don't have pick and popper. Shoot, uh, bailout. Like bailout, if you throw a bad pass, you you literally are granted the ability to shoot out to pass out of a shot if you got bailout. You see that shot right there that Anonymous just took? I'm um if he if he let's let's I wanna back that up for real, for real, 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 real quick. Let's back it up. Alright, so look, you see you see where everybody um you see where everybody is right here, where Anonymous is. Look, we're gonna back it up, right? If I am in this corner, let's say he wanted to jump and pass this ball to me right here, right? If he wanted to pass the ball to me from right there, I feel like that's a good pass. If he wanted to pass it to sports, on the other hand, you know, where their location is. With my location, I'm in his line of sight. He can see me, everything is good. He should be able to make this pass out of this shot if he wants to. But sports, on the other hand, who's on the other side of the court, maybe not so much. He shouldn't be able to really make that pass. These are the things that I'm talking about. You shouldn't need a badge to pass out of a shot. If it's a good pass out of a shot, sometimes it is a good pass out of a shot, but if you're throwing it behind you and turning around, I completely understand that. All I'm saying is there are a lot of badges in this game that grant abilities. I don't want badges to grant abilities. I want badges to enhance abilities. And people will say, well, okay, if it grant ability, then what? Yes, because that makes a bum be able to keep up with me. If I can't do something proficiently unless I have the badge, then 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 does that not put everybody on the same playing field? Okay, so now all you gotta do is get the badge. You don't have to get good at the game. You don't have to get better. You don't have to do any of this. You just have to get the badge. And now you can do it. Like dribble, uh, ankle breaker, stop and go, the, uh, the stop and go stunner, and uh, what's, what's the other one? I forgot what the other badge was. Um, uh, space creator. Like you can just, you can, you can make moves and do stuff like that, just because you have the badge. Now you're breaking ankles when you do. But if you make that same exact movement, you'll break up. You, you might break an ankle, but you're really not gonna do it. But once you get the badge, yeah, it unlocks that ability. Who else? Uh, what's the other badge that I want to say? It's, a, it's another um, tight handles. Tight hand, you can't freeze people unless you got tight handles. If I hit you with a quick move and, and I'm going this way and I'm, I should be able to freeze you sometimes, but it's just like I said, it's, it's, there's just too many things that just grants you these abilities. I feel like, 
I feel like, like that right there. You see that pass? He should not need bailout to uh to 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 throw that pass. We're gonna run that back. Uh, wait, 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 run that back. He should not need bailout in order to throw that pass right there. Y'all saw exactly what I was talking about. That was a perfect, a perfect example of what I'm talking about. He's here, he jumps. That's a good pass regardless of if he has bailout or not. But if he didn't have bailout, then you know he may have thrown that ball away. These are the things that I'm talking about, man. I know I know it's gonna be an unpopular opinion, and, and I know, I know that I know that uh I know it's unpopular opinion. I know people are cool with the bad system. I'm cool with the bad system. I'm cool with allowing you to to do certain things when you have the badges, but it should never be like I can't even hit a single difficult shot without difficult without the difficult shots badge. But if I get the difficult shots badge, now I can hit difficult shots galore. It's insane to me, man. Like I just don't get it. You can't even post. You can't post. Uh, post. You can't drop step people if you don't got drop step wrong. Like it just doesn't work. Like yeah, you can do it here and there. Yeah, you might be able to to do something, you know, randomly, but reliably and doing it the right way. Hey, it's, it's just, it just it doesn't work, man. And I just feel like they just need to change that. Let them enhance abilities instead of granting abilities. But the thing is this, I don't think they can do it. I don't think that they know, just like they don't know how to make all jump shots even and equal, I don't think they know how to make uh how to make it so that badges just enhance abilities. Just like they don't know how to turn off the um I was just like me and T was saying, I don't think they know how to fix it. I don't think they can fix it. The post hooks and the and the fadeaways and stuff. And it's not very often that a uh that somebody gets the dumbass coming of the day as well as the best coming <laughs> coming of the day. Hey, I'm just joking with you, uh creature, man. I love you, bro. I appreciate you. Hey, he said, Jay, experiment, grab five people like Brute T Viz and a few others and go uh go and you guys unequip all your badges and show everybody that the gameplay, what the gameplay looks like. He he laughs because he said, LOL, maxed out players without badges. Yeah, right. That ain't happening, my boy. I'm not even going to cap to you. Like, I'm not doing that. You got a better chance of shaking hand with God today and bringing back a selfie and taking a pic, taking a selfie and posting that on Instagram than that happening, my boy. It's just not about to <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not going out there without my badges. And I ain't going out there without boost. Because boost, yeah, that's and that's really what it is. Badges help you. It's like badges unlock abilities, right? But boost, what boost seem to do is help you with the consistency. And it's just crazy, man. I don't I don't get it. I don't know why they got it like that. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video and everything like that. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Gosh, peace. <laughs> Play without badges. <laughs> Creature, I love you. But I ain't doing it, my boy. Didn't commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn. Cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, Godspeed. Godspeed, Godspeed. 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 We good.